Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we'll take a look at the settings to watch out for on your favorite applications to ensure that they don't randomly pause or stop or even pause several times on a drive if you're listening to music through Bluetooth. Now I mentioned Bluetooth not because it's limited to this, but it's mostly because you might have an application running in the background where this case your phone is just sitting down, you're listening to music or a podcast, and it randomly pauses or stops. Now, the first thing to take a look at is do you have a good signal or is there any issues with your provider at that moment? So I was asked a couple days ago by a friend who was mentioning he was trying to listen to music. He was also trying to listen to a podcast and it would pause several times on a two or three hour drive. So this is what you're able to do to ensure that you wouldn't have your favorite apps stop on you. You want to go inside of your settings. Then over inside of here, you want to go inside of battery. And inside of battery, you have this option here called background usage limits. So again, as I was mentioning from before, when you have an application running in the background, if it's a sleeping application, it's probably going to pause on you because it states right here, sleeping apps, sleeping apps will run in the background only occasionally and updates and notifications may be delayed. Now up over here, what you can do is you have this option here that is called never auto sleep. Now your phone will automatically put applications inside of sleeping apps or deep sleeping apps. These deep sleeping apps are ones that you haven't opened in quite some time. So all you have to do is you can just tap right here for the never auto sleeping apps. And in here, you can just place in however many apps you want to go in there that your phone will never automatically put into the sleeping category. So I have the Samsung Health Monitor for everything Samsung Health. Also YouTube Music, this is what will be running in the background a lot. This is pretty much an application that is used daily. So it doesn't hurt that it is never being put to sleep. And then you can go through and you can find the rest of them. So maybe you could put in Gmail or you can put in uh, any other application you use all the time, maybe Instagram, but you know, it's never going to sleep in the background. So some of you may be putting in some type of a podcast listening application, maybe uh, Spotify or whatever, but this is where you can um, add them in. Now, the next area that you're able to look at will be the application details itself. So as we were mentioning from before, when it comes down to YouTube music, all you have to do is find that application that you don't want to randomly pause on you. You go inside of the app info here, and there's actually a few different options. So first off, when it comes down to permissions, inside of permissions, I turn this one off right here, which is pause app activity if unused. So it would remove permissions, delete temporary files, and stop notifications. So I turn this off because I do use this every single day and I don't want anything to be kind of taken away if I just temporarily stop using it, you know, for a few days or a week. Now, next up, when you take a look at mobile data, this is also a pretty big one down over here. Just make sure that you have this one turned on, which is allow background data usage. So this way you're able to listen to your music. It's in the background and it's being basically allowed to be used in the background. And then lastly, just one thing that you are able to take a look at here is inside of the permissions right here, where I turned this option off, let's say that I turn it on, what you'll notice is that this option right here will be turned on as well. So if you don't wanna go inside of the permissions to turn this off, you can just go right here, you can go to remove permissions if app is unused. If I go back inside of here, you'll also see that it is off as well. So that should be pretty much it for everything that you would need to do. The only other thing I can think of beyond this would be if you're using some type of power saving mode and it's trying to conserve power or battery. So it's trying not to run a few things in the background because it would kind of limit your background use and CPU. The other thing I can also think of is either you're just running out of your data for your carrier. Let's say you have AT&T or something and you don't have unlimited. As you get super close, it might slow things down, which might make some of the background stuff slow down or pause as well. And then the very last thing would be if you're using like a data saver. So if you're trying to turn on uh, to, to conserve or stop your data usage, that could also be the other thing lastly in my mind. And that's right inside of here for mobile data. If you still wanted to use this application without interruption, even when your data saver is turned on, then you want to check this box. So that's pretty much everything I can think of when you take a look at the app permissions and the battery screen for background usage, you'll be able to see which applications are sleeping, deep sleeping, never sleeping. And I wouldn't suggest to put the never sleeping apps like all of your applications. Just put in the main two, three, or four applications you use on the daily. Just put it in that list and you shouldn't run into any of those problems. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to unsubscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.